Welcome to Hiding Behind the Lipstick 3.0 Ministry. I am your host, Minister Ophelia Waters, and today our subject will be The Reason You Were Born. Now, this is a ministry that's designed for and to help women that are or have been abused, broken, scarred, raped, molested, neglected, hurt, and wounded, but have never been delivered or have never forgiven their abuser. Prayerfully, through this broadcast, some light will shine on the situation and you will be able to give it over to Jesus and allow him to heal your brokenness and put you back to the way that you were designed to be. So, why did God make a woman? What is the real role of the woman? Why has the woman been abused, broken, scarred, and discarded? As we delve into the study of woman and her makeup and what she has been viewed as since the early 1900s, or farther back perhaps, we'll find out that in some countries, and even today, the woman is treated or regarded as a second-rate citizen. Inferiority of women has allowed men to misuse the hearts and the bodies of women. According to the Roman family law, the husband was the absolute Lord and master. The wife was the property of her husband, and she became completely subjected to his disposition. He could punish her any way he wanted, whenever he wanted. These Roman men believed that the woman was incapable of sound judgment and could not think soundly or logically. Therefore, they would beat her, rape her, coward her down until she became submissive. The con- this confirmed in the minds of the men that the inferior status of women was often seen in the belief that only man, not woman, was created in God's image. Now, this was the Romans' belief and Aristotle's view. However, God himself, the creator of woman and the creator of man, in the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image and in the image of God created he him, male and female. Mm -hmm. Created he them. Then in chapter two, around verse 18, the Lord God said, it's not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Verse 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And in verse 22, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Verse 23, and Adam said, look at how proud Adam becomes. This is bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Verse 24 says, 
Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. Well, whose report do you believe? Women were born into the world for the glory of God and for our husbands. To be our husband's help me or help me. Not to be abused. Not to be neglected. Not to be cheated on. Lied to. Hit on. Spit on. Nor slapped around. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Our designer himself was God. So allow me to encourage you to become all that God has designed you to be. For you to love and accept the person that God has made you. Don't allow anyone to take away your will nor your spirit. I admonish you to stop hiding behind the lipstick. When you clean off the glitter and the glamour that hide who you really are, then you are ready for phase two of your healing and on to your deliverance. We will see you on next week for a different subject and we will be talking about learning to walk. Thank you for listening and thank you for joining Hiding Behind the Lipstick.